Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopina Shyamkun Radha Kun Giri Govardhan Ki Vrindam Maya Purtam Ki Gamaya Yamanamaya Ki Tosi Maharani Bhakti Devi Ki Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki All Glories to Assembled Devotees All Glories to Assembled Devotees All Glories to Assembled Devotees all glory Shri Guru Shri Gauranga, all glory Shri Prabhupada. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasadaya, Vipalaya, Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Nati Dhamma, Namaste, Dhyaya, 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 Koravani, Kuchayani, Nurisha, Shri so yesterday, yesterday was the most auspicious 150th anniversary of the appearance of this divine grace, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur from so today we will speak about some of the Leela's pastimes which took place in the life of Bhakti Siddhanta We have to understand the glories of such a great personality who could be the spiritual master of the founder Acharya of his So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati was born the third son in the family of a very great devotee, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, at the time of the birth of this child, was living in Jagannath Puri. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur was working as a judge in the court at this time. And he was in charge for all the dealings of the Jagannath Puri temple. He was responsible to make sure that all the money which was donated to the temple was used properly. So, certainly Bhakti Vinod, his Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati was born into that kind of family, a family who were very, they had a very big position in, in this society. It is said in the Bhagavad Gita that uh, if someone has practiced yoga for a long time but still not completely perfect, then they would take birth in the family of great devotees. So that would be one way to understand the appearance of Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati. But another way in which we could understand his appearance is that he was a perfect soul, that he came from the spiritual world. And he came to help Bhakti Vinod Thakur establish the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Bhakti Vinod Thakur had a big family, he had like 11 children. 
And he had so many children because he wanted all his children would help him to establish preaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission. So all of his children, they were all trained to be devotees. But it was, it was this one child who was known as a young child, he was known as Bhimal Prasad. Bimala is the name of Durga, the name of Lord Shiva's wife. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur gave this child the name Bimala Prasad. And uh, when he was born, when he came from the womb of the mother, at that time the umbilical cord from the mother was wrapped around his neck just like a Brahmin thread. And when the child was just a few months old, uh, it, came, it came time for Rati Atra. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur was living on the main road, just where the chariot passes. If you go to Jagannath Puri today, there's a Gaudiya Math temple at this place where Bhaktivinoda Thakur used to live. And it's the birthplace of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. <coughs> and so the chariot comes down from the main temple in Puri and they pull it all the way to the Gundicha temple. So this house of Bhaktivinoda Thakur was about halfway along the route to Kundicha temple. And the custom was the people will come out from their house and they'll make offerings to the deities. Just like when we do processions here in Mayapur, they'll bring the deities and people, householders will come out from their home and they'll make offerings to the deities. Supposed to be like that anyway. So in Puri, Rathiyatra, when the chariot comes along the road, people will come out, they'll make offerings to the deity. And at that time, the chariot stops, and because Bhaktivinoda Thakur's wife had delivered a young child, she passed the young child up onto the top of the chariot to be placed at the lotus feet of Lord Jagannath. In Malaysia, when we do Rathiyatra there, it's custom. Many people will come up to bring the baby, young baby, and they'll pass the child up onto the chariot. And the priest will take the baby, put it at the feet of Lord Changina. So Bhimala Prasad was passed up onto the chariot, and the mother passed him up onto the chariot, and he was placed at the feet of Jagannath. But when he was at the feet of Jagannath, then the garland fell off Jagannath onto the child. 
。那么菩萨的他的母亲就把这个孩子给了技师，然后技师把他放在加格纳的莲花足下。这个时候，这加格纳他带了一串花环就掉了下来，正好掉在这个孩子身上。So the father and mother were very happy to see this, and they thought this child is very must be very good. We have to take good care and train him to be a nice devotee. 父亲和母亲非常的高兴，他们觉得这个孩子非常的不一般。我们应该好好的训练这个孩子，这样呢，他可以成为一个很好的奉献者。And it happened, of course, Bimala Prasad grew up to be a very good child, and he was very faithful to his father. He was always with his father and would hear his father preaching. 结果就是这样，毕茂菩萨的他长成了一个非常好的孩子，而且他对他的父亲非常的忠诚，他总是帮助他的父亲去传播。While he was still a young child, his father had trained him to memorize all the slokas from the Bhagavad Gita. 当他还是一个小孩的时候，他的父亲就训练他记住了巴格比塔的所有诗节。And he could explain them also. In this way, Bhakti Vinod Thakur was training his son that he will also he will also spread Krishna consciousness. 这样，巴天诺的塔库就在训练他的儿子，让他的儿子也能够去传播奎什纳之觉。And another famous pastime which took place when he was still a child was concerning the mangoes. The Bhakti Vinod Thakur had purchased some mangoes in the marketplace. 另外的一个逍遥时光也是发生在他的孩提时代，这个跟芒果有关。巴提诺德塔库从市场上买了一些芒果。So Bhakti Siddhanta said, "Bimu Prasad is a young boy at the time, just you know, only four or five years old, and he saw the mangoes and he thought, 'Oh, mangoes! I like mangoes!' and he took a mango and he ate the mango." 呃，巴提斯当时的这个冰芒菩萨，他看到芒果，他是一个小孩，他很喜欢吃芒果，所以呢，他就把这个芒果给吃了。But when Bhakti Vinod Thakur saw him eating the mango, he said, "Hey, these mangoes are not offered yet. Before you eat the mango, we should first offer to Krishna. You have taken before Krishna. This is offense." 但是当巴提诺德塔库看到他吃芒果的时候，巴提诺德塔库就跟他说：“嘿，这些芒果还没有供奉呢，你在吃之前应该先给奎什纳供奉。如果在给奎什纳没供奉之前你就吃了的话，那就算是一个冒犯。So you are an offender. 你是一个冒犯者。So the child vowed, all right, I will not eat mangoes again. 于是这个孩子发誓，我再也不吃芒果了。And when people would come. Sometimes his disciples would come and he would bring mangoes to offer. He would say, "Oh, I cannot take. I am an offender." 以后呢，当人们来给他供奉芒果，他的一些门徒给他芒果吃的时候，他就说，哦不，我不能吃，我是一个冒犯者。So the rest of his life, he kept that vow. He would not take mango. 他整个的余生都一直坚守着这个誓言，再也没有吃过芒果。So you can understand this great. Determination, the strength of character. So, you can think about his determination, his strength, his character. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm
。那么有一张照片，就是巴基斯坦的沙沙蒂，还有他的那个创办的协会的其他的布拉姆沙人们。Oh God, later in life, every one of the other men got married. He was the only one who kept the vow of celibacy throughout his life. 当然，后来随着时间的流逝，所有其他的年轻人都结婚了。他是唯一一个一直一辈子都独身贞守的人。But because he was very、uh, sense controlled, he was very powerful in his preaching. 因为他在传播的时候，他非常的能够控制自己的感官，所以他非常的强大。He described the the word used to just and a word which he used himself is that he would be sometimes aggressive in his preaching. 那有一个就是关于用到他传播的时候的一个词，就是说他非常的有攻击性。嗯。If somebody is very aggressive, you know, they want. They have a very strong desire to do something. If a person has an aggressive desire, it just means that he has a very strong desire to do something. So Shiloh Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati had that kind of determination, and he would preach sometimes very, very strongly. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati had this kind of determination, so he preached very strongly. So as a young man, he was very, very strong. So as a young man, he was very, very strong. So as a young man, He taken up for some time. He take he took up some kind of scholarship. He took up some. He spent some time studying, and he studied astro astrology, and he wrote a book even about astrology. 作为一个年轻人，他接受了奖学金，他进行了一段时间的学习，然后他在学习的时候专门研习了占星的这一部分。他甚至为此还写了一本书。There's a famous Book about astrology called Surya Siddhanta and Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, or Bimala Prasad, as he was called at the time. He he wrote his own commentary on this book, Surya Siddhanta. 当时在占星方面有一本非常著名的著作，名字叫做 Surya Siddhanta， 是由 Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati， 也就是也就是当时的 Bimala Prasad， 他对于这部 Surya Siddhanta 进行了自己的评论。It was such a. It was it was so、uh, much appreciated by the academic world that the university, the people who were in charge of the Calcutta University, wanted to make him the professor of astrology. He wrote this book in the academic world, so the Calcutta University wanted to make him the professor of astrology. He wrote this book in the academic world, so the Calcutta University wanted to make him the professor of astrology. 嗯、就是。But he was always very respectful to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. But to his father, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was always very respectful to Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati 对他自己的父亲 Bhakti Vinod Thakur 总是非常的尊敬。And he wouldn't just call him father, but he would call him Mahasaya. He not only called him father, but he also called his father Mahasaya. He called his father Mahasaya. Meaning, he's a very exalted, great personality. He is, 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 他承认他的父亲是一位非常崇高的，是一个已经得到了自我觉悟的人物。When they were living in Jagannath Puri, I described how Bhakti Vinod Thakur was the the judge, and he was in charge of the temple. He would also give lectures there. 我刚才已经描述过，他母亲的年轻的时候，他全家人都住在加利纳普瑞，而巴基诺的塔库呢，他做着法官的工作，同时也管理庙宇的事务。而在那个时候呢，他也会给大家讲课。And people would come. Quite a few people used to come and hear his lectures, and even sadhus and different 
Babaji's and other people who were living there in Jagannath Puri, they would come and hear his lecture. And there was this one Babaji, he had created his own mantra, he'd made a new mantra, and he was, and somehow the mantra which he'd made became accepted by people, and they started to chant it, and he got quite a few followers. But it was nonsense, it was a bogus mantra. So this man who composed this mantra, he used to come and listen to Bhaktivinoda Thakur's lectures. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur would point out to the man that you know, this mantra which you're promoting is not proper, it's not shastric, it's all wrong, you should stop it. But the man would not listen. And there are still people chanting the mantra today. If you go to Jagannath Puri, you'll see there are people there who are chanting this, this mantra, which is not Shastra. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur was telling the man this is wrong, and Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati, he would get really angry because he was a young man. And he would he would get quite angry at this man, and he would he would argue with this man and all of his followers. It would be sometimes big uh, turmoil, you know, disturbance. So because this man who made up this mantra had some followers, they were very angry with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So it was at that time Bhakti Vinod Thakur told him, he told his son, he said, you you can go to Mayapur, go and stay in Mayapur or something. So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati went to Mayapur and he stayed at the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he took a vow to chant the holy name a billion times. So, took several, several years. And Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati at that time is living in Mayapur. There was, were very few people, it was just the jungle. There was there was none of these houses which we see today. There was, there, it was just a jungle that Bhaktivinoda Thakur had built a small temple at the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that was the only thing there. So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati was living there and he was just chanting the holy name and just under an umbrella. <laughs> All right, umbrellas are very important things in India. Will protect you from the rain. 
will protect you from the sun. And you can use it against the dog. So. <laughs> Sometimes Prabhupada will show you, take the umbrella and hit the dog, <laughs> chase the dog away. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was living like that in Mayapur, chanting the holy name under an umbrella. And he did this for some said several years. And he was just quite a young man at this time also. And then Bhakti Vinod Thakur came also, he came to live at Swarup Ganj. And you mean if you cross the Jalangi, that's Swarup Ganj. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur had a house there. And he used to meet people like Gorti Shodas Babaji and Jagannath Das Babaji and Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati would also come with So Bhakti Vinod Thakur told Bhakti he told Bhimo Prasad, he said you have to get initiation. You have to have a guru. It's important. You're not initiated by anybody yet. You have to get initiation. And Bhima Prasad said, You're my guru. But Bhakti Thakur said, No, no, I'm your father. I'm your Simino father. I cannot be your guru. You have to get initiation from somebody now. So Bhakti Siddhanta said, he said, but who? There's nobody. They're all all these so-called sadhus, they're all bogus, they're all they're not genuine sadhus. But Bhakti Vinod Thakur told him, well, not all, there are some good people, and he said, just like this one here, Gorki Shodas Rampaji, he's a very good. So Gorki Shod Das Babaji, he was an illiterate person, hardly he could read or write. Gorki Shod Das Babaji, he was an illiterate person, hardly he could read or write. And Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, he was the most highly educated scholarly person. So when Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati came to Gorkishore Das Babaji and asked him for initiation, Gorkishore Das Babaji said, Oh, how can I initiate you? You are so educated, you are so much great, greater than I am. So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati said, Well, you know, I still I have to get initiation, I have to have a guru. And my father said, You were qualified. He said, You would be the right man. So Gorki Shodas Babaji said, Oh no, I, I don't think I'm so qualified. I don't think very good idea. You're such an educated person. I I'm, I'm a literate. So they said, 
but just be more precise. Well, that's material qualification. Spiritually, you're a very elevated soul. You're a great soul. And I want to accept you as my spiritual teacher. So, Gorky showed us, but he said, Well, I will have to ask Krishna. I will let you know. So, for some time, be more precise. We had to wait, and then after some time he came back again, and again he asked Gorky Shodas Babaji, did you ask Krishna, did you get a reply from Krishna? And he said, well I asked him, but he didn't give me an answer yet. So Bhakti Abhimo Prasad was waiting, waiting again, after more time again he came. He said, you know, it's been a long time, I asked you, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I want to get your initiation, I want you to be my spiritual teacher. And Gorky Shodas Babaji said, well, I, you know, I don't, I didn't get any response yet. I, I'm still waiting to hear from Lord Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj. He didn't tell me anything. So then Bhakti Bhima Prasad said to him, he said, if I cannot get initiation, then I will give up my life. My life is useless because I have I don't have the mercy of a spiritual teacher. How can I go to Krishna without the mercy of a spiritual teacher? So when Gorky Shodas Babaji saw that Bhima Prasad was very serious and that he was ready even to give up his life, then he agreed, all right, then we can give you an initiation. So he was initiated and he got the name Sri Varsha Bhanavi Devi. It's a name of Radharani. So he got initiation. Later on, he took the name Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati. The title Sarasati was given to him because of his scholarly uh, nature, because he was such a highly learned scholar. And the title, the name Bhakti Siddhanta, that's the name he took at the time when he had Sanya. When he took sannyas, he had he had, by that when he when he finally took sannyas at that time his spiritual master had already departed from the world. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur had also departed from the world. So how was he supposed to take sannyas? So what he did was he went into the temple and he went inside the altar and he closed the curtains. And then he invited his own spiritual master to come here. And his own spiritual master gave him, initiated him into the sannyas. So it was a special, it was unusual procedure, but this is how he arranged for his 
这是一种非常特殊的、非常不同寻常的一个程序，就是指他如何得到他的三加四的启迪。There were no other sannyasis in the sampradaya. 当时在 sampradaya 之中没有其他的 sannyasi。There were no other people in the line of sannyasi with it. From we, he was continuing the line from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And there were no sannyasis. There were only some babajis. Babaji is people who that, that, that's a bit that's not in the material world. The position of babaji is higher than sannyas. 巴巴吉呢，指的是那些根本就不处在这个物质世界的层面的人。巴巴吉的地位要高于萨尼亚西。People who wear white, that is the color of the babaji. 那些穿白色衣服的人，那才是巴巴吉的颜色。This color, the saffron color, this is the material world. 这个橘黄色，这属于物质世界里的颜色。But the babaji, they wear white. They're not in the material. 但是巴巴吉呢？他们穿白色，他们不在物质的层面上。So Babaji's they don't preach. Babaji 呢不去传播。They just do bhajan. They just chant the holy name. 他们只做八戒，只唱诵圣名。But Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati wanted to encourage the preaching of the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 但是巴基斯坦的萨斯瓦蒂想要鼓励对于主宰天的马哈波布的讯息的传播。So he researched a lot. He went to South India and he went to many different temples in South India and he spent a lot of time in their libraries researching. 于是巴基斯坦的萨斯瓦蒂做了很多研究工作。他去了南印度，他去了很多其他的地方进行了调查研究的工作。嗯。And he found out about different sampradayas, how they arrange for sannyas. In the Mayavadi line of sannyas, they carry the ekadanda. Means one rod. And they take sannyas to become one with God. But Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, he wants to promote the Tridandi Sanyasi, the Vaishnava Sanyasi. Which is different from this Shankaracharya from the Mayavadi Sanyasi. 这个跟上个二叉二幺麦瓦迪的三尼亚西呢是不一样的。So the Tridandi Sanyasi, the Tridandi, they carry three rods which are bound together. 所以 Tridandi 的这个三尼亚西，他们是拿三根棍儿绑在一起。The three rods represent body, mind, and words, all in the service of the Supreme. 这三根棍儿的含义代表着躯体、心意和言语，全都要合起来服务至尊主。And a fourth rod is put on the outside. You can see on the top of the danda there's a curved rod that represents the soul. And the Vaishnava sannyasi, he does not take sannyas to become one with God. But he takes sannyas to use everything in the service of God. This is in line with the teachings of Lord Chaitanya and as presented by Rupa Goswami in his book. 就是符合主宰坛内的教导的，这个主宰坛内的教导就体现在说了 Rupa Goswami 的书里。Right, Rupa Goswami describes renunciation. He says, Nirbanda Krishna Sambande Yukta Vairagya Uchate. The real renunciation is to use everything in the service of Krishna. 
去了如何格斯拉明说，真正的气绝是把所有的一切都用于对 Krishna 的服务。So Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati was when he wanted to encourage this kind of renunciation. 因此，施罗巴斯蒂·西丹特·萨尔斯瓦蒂，他鼓励的是这种类型的气绝。So initially he was in Mayapur, he was chanting the holy name for a long time, and it happened one man came there in Mayapur and he saw him chanting and he talked to him and he understood he was a very great soul, he was very enlightened. 当时巴蒂·西丹特·萨尔斯瓦蒂就在马普这样一直的念诵。来了一个人，这个人到了马祖之后，跟他进行了一番交谈。通过交谈，这个人就理解到，他是一位非常崇高的灵魂。So this man encouraged Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati. He said, "You should come to Calcutta. I will arrange some preaching, some lectures for you. you can come and start teaching, preaching." 于是这个人就鼓励巴蒂斯丹特·萨尔斯瓦蒂说：“你应该来加尔各答，我可以帮你安排地方，安排一些节目，让你去传播。” So he went to Calcutta, and of course he was very successful. He attracted a lot of people. And he was one of the places where he was staying. It's called Ulta Danga. It's a place in Calcutta. You can go there today. There's a house there, the same house which was the Gaudiya Mat before. Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada had stayed there, and it was in that house that our own founder Acharya Bhakti Vedanta Swami came there and met the spiritual master. 在乌特丹格这个地方呢，有一栋房子，以前是施罗巴提斯丹的萨尔斯瓦蒂住过的。这里之前是一座高殿嘛，而当时呢，我们的巴提维丹塔斯瓦米就是在这里见到了他的灵性导师巴提斯丹的萨尔斯瓦蒂。So, Srila Prabhupada, our own Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Vinanta Swami Prabhupada, described how when he was a young man. He'd been just married recently, and he had a young family, young baby in the family, and he was a follower of Gandhi. At that time, India was under the British rule, and Gandhi was a Freedom fight. He was fighting to get freedom for India. He wanted India to get independence from the British rule. 当时他是在追随甘地的，而这个当时的印度是在英国的统治之下。然后呢，甘地就主张着让大家努力的奋斗，能够摆脱英国的殖民统治。The British were trying to get all the Indian people to wear cloth, which was made in England. 英国人他们试图让所有的印度人都穿英国制造的衣服。And Gandhi was encouraging the people to wear cloth made in their own India. 而甘地鼓励所有的人都穿在印度呃制造的衣服。And that meant handloom cloth. 就是用手织的布的做的衣服。It's called khadi. 这个叫 khadi. It's actually very nice cloth. It's very cool in the summer. In the hot weather, it's nice to wear, not like the synthetic cloth which we wear today. They have some shops still, Kadi Bhavan. You see some Kadi Bhavan shops, and they sell Kadi cloth. It's, it's very nice cloth. 现在还有一些这样的商店，叫做卡蒂巴万，在那儿可以买到这卡蒂的布，是很好的一种布料。So Prabhupada said he was wearing kadi. He had kadi kurta, kadi dhoti, and he came in to meet Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati. 当时呢，说怕怕的穿的就是一身卡蒂，穿着卡蒂的 kurta， 穿着卡蒂的 dhoti， 于是他来见说巴蒂斯丹的沙斯瓦蒂。So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati saw him, and he would understand immediately that, oh, he's a follower of Gandhi. He's he's thinking about Gandhi, following Gandhi. He wants independence for India. 
，当时一见面，除了帮 GC 单的销售啊，你就立刻可以了解到这个年轻人他是一个甘地的追随者，他追随甘地，他想的就是让印度摆脱英国的殖民统治，获得自由。So, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati saw him come in the door. He said, "You are a nice young man. Why don't you preach the message of Lord Chaitanya?" Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati 看到这个年轻人走到门口，就说，你是一个年轻人，你为什么不去传播朱彩他家的讯息？ And Sri、so、Prabhupad said he tried to argue. He said, "Well, our country is not free yet. We have to get independence first, and then we can preach Lord Chaitanya's mission." 说了八句话，当时就试图争辩。他说：“因为我们现在这个印度还是受殖民统治的国家，还没有得到自由，我们应该先让这个国家得到自由，然后再去传播主宰他家的使命。” But Bhakti Siddhanta immediately said, "No, you're wrong." 但是巴基斯坦的立刻说：“不，你错了。” The message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu cannot wait for some political adjustment. 主持他那个使命和讯息是不能够等待政治上的调整的。And back to Siddhanta Sarasati went on to explain the urgency to deliver this message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the world. 接着巴基斯坦的萨沙提就向他解释，呃，这是非常紧迫的一件事情，一定要尽快把主持他那马哈帕布的这个讯息传遍全世界。And our own Shri Prabhupada said. He said, "I was completely defeated. I was surprised that he could speak so powerfully and so convincingly." Usually, these holy men, these kind of sadhus, are all bogus, and they they just only, they're only interested to take some money from the people. 通常这些圣人们都是冒牌的，他们唯一的兴趣就是从别人那赚钱。But Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati was not that kind of person. He did not flatter people. 但是 Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati 不是那样的人，他不会恶意奉承别人。Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati spoke the truth. Whether people liked it or not. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, he always speaks the truth, whether people like it or not. And he would encourage people that you, your, your life is wasted if you do not surrender to Krishna. He would encourage people that your life is wasted if you do not surrender to Krishna. He would encourage people that your life is wasted if you do not surrender to Krishna. He would encourage people that your life is wasted if you do not surrender to Krishna. He would encourage people So Sri Lopakhti Siddhanta Sarasati preached very strongly, and he attracted many young people, and he 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 got a big following of people, had many disciples. Sri Lopakhti Siddhanta Sarasati, his message was very strong and very powerful. So he attracted many young people. He had many disciples. And many of them were well educated, intelligent people. Who knew a lot of philosophy and had good education. 其中有很多的人呢，他们都是受过良好的教育，而且非常的有智慧的。然后他们的这个程度都是很高的。And they were convinced when they met Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, they were convinced to accept him as their spiritual teacher and surrender to him. 当他们见到说巴基斯坦的萨斯瓦蒂的时候，他们都信服了。So Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati would like to write. He would write articles, not only speak and give lectures, but he would also write essays and articles. And he began to publish even a daily newspaper. Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, he very much likes to write. He not only speaks and gives lectures. 然后就是他还花很多时间去写作，他甚至出版了一份日报。And the devotees, those who were the devotees, they would go out every day to distribute. 那些奉献者们每一天都会出去派发他的这些文献。And if they would distribute even just one or two newspapers in the day and collect only a few paisa, which paisa means a fraction, not even one rupee, just a some fraction of a rupee. But this is done to Sarasati. Praise them. You have done very well.
，这个拍下是很小的一种货币单位，甚至还不到一卢比。而巴基斯坦的萨斯瓦蒂都会赞美他们，说你们简直是做的太好了。And Shri Prabhupada, our own Shri Prabhupada, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada told us that his Guru Maharaj liked very much to see books being published. And whenever a new book would be printed for Shri Prabhupada, he would think my Guru Maharaj will be very happy to see a new book. 每当大家出版了一本新书拿出来说，爸爸看的时候，他说爸爸就会说，我的姑姑妈妈就会非常高兴看到一本新书的出版。And of course, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati would encourage all the devotees to write articles. 当然了 ，Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati 他会鼓励所有的奉献者们来写文章。And he would come. Just wanted to make sure every page the name Krishna was there. And if the name Krishna was there, they printed. Then this is a real. This is a good article because the name Krishna is being used so many times. He will say this article is written very well because there are many times he mentions Krishna. So Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati organized many big programs. He would put on big. Exhibitions of Krishna consciousness. Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, he would do many big programs, and then he would use these big programs to spread Krishna consciousness. He would come to the temple, and he would ask them, "How much money are you having? Um, have you got any money, any savings?" Then he would come to the temple, and he would ask them, "How much money are you having? Um, have you got any money, any savings?" Then he would come to the temple, and he would ask them, "How much money are you having?" Put on a big exhibition, hire artists to do paintings and to make dioramas, exhibition exhibits of Lord Chaitanya's pastimes. If he is found rich, he will take the money and take it and hold a big exhibition, then he will give it to the people to spread the Krishna consciousness and the devotees will complain. They say, "Oh, Guru Maharaj." You're spending all the money. There will be no money left. 奉献者们就会抱怨，哦，姑姑妈呀，什么？你把所有的钱都花完了，咱们没剩什么钱了。And he would say, Oh, good. You will have to go out and preach. 然后他就会说，哦，太好了，你们现在又得出去传播了。He did not like the devotees just to sit and eat and sleep. He liked them to go out to fight Maya. He liked to make people out to Maya. And he didn't like them just to go to rich people. You should go to everyone. And he didn't like them just to go to rich people. You should go to everyone. And he didn't like them just to go to rich people. You should go to everyone. And he didn't like them just to go to rich people. You should go to everyone. And he didn't like them just to go to rich people. You should go to everyone. And he didn't like them just to go to rich people. You should go to everyone. And he didn't like them just to go to rich people. You should go to everyone. And he didn't like them just to go to rich people. No, you should preach to everyone. Some people are not so rich; they can give you some rice, or they'll give you some vegetables, or something which they grow. Maybe some eggplant from their field. Whatever they grow, they'll give you. That's preaching. If if some people come back, they bring a large bag of rice. He doesn't like that. He says you should not only go to the rich, but you should go to everyone. Then maybe people give you a little bit of rice, give you a little bit of vegetables. 或者人家地里种了什么，给你什么，比如说给你一些茄子，总之就人家地里长的东西，他们给你了，然后这个才叫真正的传播。And at one point, one of the disciples of Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati built a big temple for him in Calcutta. 曾经有一度，是巴基斯坦的萨斯瓦蒂的一个门徒在加尔各答为他建了一座大庙。It's still there. It's a very beautiful temple. It's all marble. 这座庙宇如今还在，非常的美丽，都是用大理石建造的。In Barabak Bazaar up in Calcutta, North Calcutta. 在加尔各答的北部叫 Bak Bazaar. And the Gaudiya Math is they have this nice temple. But when they built the temple, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati heard the devotees that they were arguing with each other about where they would stay when they moved into the new temple. 
。那高天骂出他们这座庙是挺不错的，但是邦基斯坦的萨苏阿蒂他听说当庙宇落成的时候，他的门徒们都在争吵，就是谁应该占哪个房间。The one they were doing, okay, this will be my room. This will be my office. 有一个奉献者就是说，这是我的房间。然后另外一个人说，这是我的办公室。So Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati was not happy to hear this. Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati 听到这些，他并不高兴。He said, "Better to sell the marble and print books." 他说，最好还是把大理石都卖了，然后印书。His his teaching was if you get money, use it to print books. His 教导就是，如果有钱，你就拿去印书。Don't just make a nice temple to live comfortably. 不要仅仅是盖一座非常好的庙宇，然后舒适的生活。But temple is a base for the army to go out and fight Maya. 庙宇是一个基地，是为了让这个军队出去跟玛雅作战的一个基地。And Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati would do that. He would go out every day. He would go out for preaching. Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati 就会这样做，每一天他都会出去传播。And he would preach very strongly. 而且他传播的方式是很强大有力的。At the same time, he was he he was quite different from other sadhus. 而同时，还有跟其他的沙度们非常的不一样。Other sadhus they would walk, you know, with the wooden shoe, maybe the peg shoes, the wooden shoes, and they had no sewn cloth. They just had some cloth wrapped around the chandra. 其他的沙度们都是穿着木头的鞋，就是木屐，然后呢，穿的衣服都是没有缝制过的，就拿一块布这样一裹吧。But Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati sometimes he would wear shoes and he would put on a big coat like the Western people. 而说到第四单的穿穿鞋，他就会有时候穿鞋子，还有时候像西方人一样穿一件外套。And a great coat. 然后他这个外套袖子上还有这个扣子呢，有扣。And he would walk. He he bought a car and he would ride in the car. 而且他不走路，他买了一辆汽车，他就是坐汽车出去。But when some devotees got sick, they wanted to use the car to go to doctors. He said, "No, it's not for you to go to doctor in the car." 但是当有这件生病了，然后想坐着这个汽车去看病的时候，就说不，这个车不是买来用来让你去看病的。You want to go to the doctor? You go yourself. You don't take the car. That car is for preaching. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada would go to preach to very important people, very big people in the government. 而说王提斯丹的就会向很大的那些大人物、政府的那些官员去传播。And because he's riding a big car. So he could go. He could go in everywhere. Because he has a big car, and he can go to all the places. And people would respect him very much. 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 And he was able to convince some important people to come out to Mayapur. And at that time, there were no proper roads. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was revolutionary in following the principles of Rupa Goswami. 在追随卢布格斯瓦米的原则方面，说巴蒂西丹的萨斯瓦蒂是一位有革命性的人物。Rupa Goswami said, "Nirbanda Krishna Sambande Yukta Vairagya Uchate." That we should use everything in the service of Krishna, and that is real renunciation. So Rupa Goswami said, "We should use everything in the service of Krishna." We don't give up something which is in relation to Krishna. So motor cars can be used for preaching. 
They're not used for our own sense gratification. When they say today, most of uh, computers, mobile phones, all these things, they can be used for preaching. They're not for our sense gratification. Everything is for the service of Krishna. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati was preaching very strongly about these points to people. And they were, he, he was so controversial, they wanted to kill him. One of the things which he did was he started, he started the Navitri Parikrama. Srila Bhaktivi Thakur had described the Parikrama and he had written the Navitri Mahatmya about the glories of the Holy Dhamma. But it was Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati who inaugurated Parikrama to go around the Holy to visit each of the nine islands. And he had thousands of people all come on Parikrama. And they had elephants also come. They take the elephants on the Parikrama. There were thousands of people on the Parikrama. And they would go one day in each island. And in each island they would hear the glories of that island and the different pastimes which took place. And so there was controversy over where is the actual birthplace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Bhakti Vinod Thakur had proved that the actual birthplace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was over on Mayapur and he showed the people the yoga, the yoga pit, but the birthplace of Chaitanya. But they, before Bhakti Vinod Thakur came, people were telling that the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in Navadvi. But by looking at the old maps and by different information from the scriptures, Bhakti Vinodaka proved that it couldn't be in Navadri. One of the important places is the Chankasi Samadhi. Now Chankasi Samadhi, the Chankasi, had, he used to live, he had the house not far away from the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But the Chankasi's house is not over in Navadri. The, the Chankasi Samadhi is there in Mayapur. But Samadhi is there, and that's where his house used to be. Right, and then you can see there is the two trees. One is the Nim tree, and one is the Champak tree. So the Nim tree was representing Lord Chaitanya, his name was Nimai. And Champak tree was for the Chankasi, it was the nickname of the Chankasi, Champak. 
，而这个昌化这棵树呢，代表的就是昌花季，这属于是昌花季它的一个昵称，就是昌花。So these two trees are growing there since five hundred years. 呃，自从五百年以前，这两棵树就长在那里了。嗯，对。The, there were other, in fact, there was other evidence also quite deep by Bhaktivinoda Thakur, and he proved that the real birthplace of Lord Chaitanya is at Mayapur, not in Navadri. But the people, those people who lived in Navadri, they were very angry. They said, "No, birthplace of Lord Chaitanya is in Navadri." And they were, they were so angry, they were wanting to kill And at one point, they even told the, the, the policeman in charge of the area that we will give you some money, but we want to do something. We're going to kill this man, this sadhu. Please, you don't interfere. We'll give you some money. You just keep quiet. They even found the police officer, and he said, "We will give you some money, but we want to kill this man. So we'll give you some money. You just keep quiet." They even found the police officer, and he said, "We will give you some money, but we want to kill this man. So we'll give you some money. You just keep quiet." They even found the police officer, and he said, "We will give you some money, but we want to kill this man. So we'll give you some money. You just keep quiet." They even found the police officer, and he said, "We will give you some money, but we want to kill this man. So we'll give you some money. You just keep quiet." They even found the police officer, and he said, "We will give you some money, but we want to kill this man. So we'll give you some money. You just keep quiet." They even found the police officer, and he said, "We will give you some money, but we want to kill this man. So we'll give you some money. You just keep quiet." They even found the police officer, and he said, "We will give you And he gave the warning to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, you have to be very careful. So Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was risking his life by preaching the message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He he was called Nishringa Guru. He was the uh, and he he had that fire that the fire just like Lord Nishringa did became so angry to Harani Kashipu. So Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati could become so enraged by people who were propagating some irreligious philosophy. 呃，除了巴蒂西丹的萨尔斯瓦蒂，他也被称为是生活的侮辱，是因为他有这种怒火，就像说你现在在杀死别人卡西普的时候展示出来的怒火一样。如果有人去传播非宗教的东西，他也会变得勃然大怒。At the same time, he could be very kind and compassionate. 但同时呢，他又有的时候会展示出非常的温柔，非常的充满怜悯之心的一面。He would keep sweet. He would carry sweets in his pocket, and when the village children came around, he would give them all prasadam. His pocket was always full of sweets. When the village children came to him, he would give them all prasadam. He was not quite like that. 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 He was not If people were doing something which was against the scripture, then he would point it out to them very clearly. And he would teach very forcefully what is the real message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he was called. He was given the name Prabhupada. Prabhupada means one who has many masters at his feet. But it also means one who is at the feet of Krishna. So I saw that well, last night we were watching on the internet. There was somebody who was saying, "Who, who is the real Prabhupada?" But 
you have to understand Prabhupada as a title. It, it's not just the name of one person, it's a title which was given to powerful preachers. Uh, and Rupa Goswami was also called Prabhupada, and Sanatana Goswami was also Prabhupada. And so when the devotees asked Bhaktivedanta Swami for what name he would like, he said, well, Prabhupada is the next name. And Prabhupada said, you can, you, he said, if you want to give me some name, you can give me that name also for me. <laughs> so, it's not that the name is just meant for one person. But somebody who is a powerful preacher, who is very great preacher, uh, who is un has many troubles, as we speak. Then they can, it's, not, it's not just only the Mayavadis can call themselves Prabhu Vada. So the devotees, for the name for the devotees, so we're very indebted to Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, Prabhupada, that he, that he uh, did so much for the mission of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And we're following in the line. Srila Prabhupada, our own prophet, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he would say, he said, I'm your father, I have to be very strict with you. But Bhakti said, he said, my spiritual master, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, is your spiritual grandfather. The grandfather is always very kind. So we are remembering him, especially at this time, yesterday was the 150th anniversary of his appearance in this world. And he departed from the world in the Gaudiyamata temple there in Calcutta. He encouraged the devotees to go on, preach the message of Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami. Are there any questions? her question is, is that uh, just like you mentioned, we should become very strict in following all the principles concerning uh, Krishna consciousness. We have to put in the center. And how could we avoid our desires uh, to perform sense gratification? How can we get rid of those things? By strict sadhana. By being very strict with ourselves. No, we have to we have to be disciplined. Uh, just like he was very disciplined, we have to discipline our own. We know what's right, we know what's wrong. We have to be strict with ourselves. 
just like mobile phones, you know, you can watch Bollywood movies, you can watch so many things on the internet. 就像是手机，你也可以用它来看好莱坞的电影，你可以用它来看互联网上的很多其他东西。So Maya is at your fingertips. Maya 就在你的指尖。But we're we're finished. We don't want that Maya. 但是这部分我们已经结束了，我们不想要 Maya。We don't want that kind of thing. We're we're finished. We're we're we've declared war on Maya. 我们不想要那种 Maya。我们已经穷尽了那个方面。我们要向 Maya 宣战。You know, when we accept initiation into Krishna consciousness, we're declaring war on the material energy. When we in Krishna consciousness accept the initiation, we are declaring war on the material energy. So we have to be very, very strict with ourselves. So we have to be very strict with ourselves. Right, strict with ourselves and merciful with others. Strictly with ourselves and merciful with others. So strict in our chanting, strict in our reading. We have so many things to keep ourselves busy in Krishna consciousness. We have no time for Maya. We have to strictly require ourselves to read, strictly require ourselves to read. We have so many things to keep ourselves busy in Krishna consciousness. We have no time for Maya. We have to strictly require ourselves to read, strictly require ourselves to read. We have so many things to keep ourselves busy in Krishna consciousness. So many slokas to memorize. So many things to learn. So much service to be done. We don't have time for Maya. Does that help you? Any other questions? 还有其他的问题吗？在线的课程就可以举手，嗯，看。还有其他的问题吗？这里呢，那个我我想听听各位讲一下关于巴克蒂西丹莎莎这条裤，就是你想让他分享和和吉利格尔丹在埋伏的这个地方吗？因为我想加深对巴克蒂西丹莎莎这条裤的这种情感。Guru Maharaj, can you please tell us more details about Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur? How he is meditating Radha Kun, Shama Kun, and Guru Govardhan? So I want to increase my case by hearing such things. Well, we understand that Mayapur is not different from Vrindavan. They're all they're both the holy dam. So all the holy places in Vrindavan, they're also here in Mayapur. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada, he created his own Radha Kund and Shama Kund and Giri Govardhan. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati has created his own Radha Kund, Shama Kund and Giri Govardhan. And he wants us to understand that these places are here in the holy town. He he could he had that vision that this holy place of Mayapur is not different from my from the. So he saw everything in relation to the holy dam. That he saw this Mayapur dam. It's a transcendental abode. It's not anywhere in the material world. So he's teaching us to have that kind of vision. The Lord's abode, his holy name, his paraphernalia, and everything in relation to him, they're all absolute and spiritual. 
，主和神圣的居所，他的圣名，还有他的随身的用品，所有的一切都处在绝对的层面上，都跟他本人没有任何的区别。And Lord Krishna is eternally residing here in this place. If this place is not different from Vrindavan, then Lord Krishna is also here in this holy place. So he is teaching us to respect this holy place. 因此，他在教导我们要尊敬圣地。Sri Lubakti Siddhanta Sarasati had a a difficult time when his spiritual master left the world. Sri Lubakti Siddhanta Sarasati， 当他的灵性导师离开这个物质世界的时候，他也度过了艰难的时刻。But a Gorky Shodas Babaji, when he left the body, then many people wanted to get his body, and they wanted to make his samadhi on their land because they knew it would attract many pilgrims and they would come and they give donations. When Gorky Shodas Babaji left the body, there were many people who wanted to get his body, and they wanted to make his samadhi on their land because they knew it would attract many pilgrims and they would give donations. When Gorky Shodas Babaji left the body, then many people wanted to get his body, and they wanted to make his samadhi on their land because they knew it would attract many pilgrims and they would give donations. And Gorky Shodas Babaji had also said that when I die, I want you to drag my body through the streets to the holy dam. And Gorky Shodas Babaji 本人也说，当我死的时候呢，你们要拖着我的躯体，把它拖遍整个大姆的大街小巷。So when Gorky Shodas Babaji left the body, then some people wanted to take his body, and they were going to drag it through the streets. 而当多瑞说达斯巴格吉离开躯体了之后呢，有的人就真的要把他的躯体就拖着，要拖遍这个地方的大街小巷。But Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati came there, and he told them, he said, "I am the only disciple of my Guru Maharaj." 但是巴基斯坦的沙沙提来了，他说，我是我的 Guru Maharaj 的唯一的门徒。And he said, "Well, I doesn't give you the right just to take his body." You should respect. If you are his disciple, you should respect his word. Then, then, other people, he told them, I do not allow you to take his body. If you are his disciple, you should respect his word. Then, then, other people, he told them, I do not allow you to take his body. If you are his disciple, you should respect his word. Then, then, other people, he told them, I do not allow you to take his body. If you are his disciple, you should respect his word. Then, then, other people, he told them, I do not allow you to take his body. If you are his disciple, you should respect his word. Then, then, other people, he told them, I do not allow you to take his body. If you are his disciple, you should respect his word. Then, then, other people, he told them, I do not allow you to take his body. If you are his disciple, you should respect his word. Then, then, other people, he told them, I do not allow you to take his body. If you are his disciple, you should respect his word. Then, then, other people, Follow that kind of. We shouldn't allow that kind of、uh, actions to be done with the body of such a great soul. So, about this, then, the Sir Swati said, "That is due to his humility. That is what we are saying. But we should respect his body. We should respect his body. We should respect his body. So anyway, they were arguing who should have the right to the body. So, about this, then, the Sir Swati said, "That is due to his humility. That is what we are saying. But we should respect his body." If any one of you have followed strictly the principles of religion for one year, then you can take the body of my Guru Ma. Then Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, he firmly said, "If any of you have followed the principles of religion for one year, then you can take the body of my Guru Ma." So nobody said anything. So nobody said anything. He said, "If any of you can follow, if any of you have followed the re religious principles for one month, you can take the body of my Guru Maharaj." Nobody said it. If any of you have followed the religious principles, if you follow for the one week. You can take my Guru Maharaj's body. If you have any other rules or strict rules, just for the one day, you can take my Guru Maharaj's body. Nobody. 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 Nobody.
好几次单子下不来，替他说：“看，这就是目前的情况。你们想要拿走我的明星导师的躯体，可是你们却在从事那么多的罪恶活动。” And he had it placed in Samadhi. And now, actually, at one point they had to move the Samadhi because the, the Ganga moved and the Samadhi was damaged. So they had to bring his divine body, the remains of his body. They brought it to Mayapur, and Gorky showed us Babaji's Samadhi is now. I'm sure the Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, he left the body in Calcutta, but then after he departed from the body, then they brought his divine body out here to Mayapur, and his samadhi is there along the road near the Bhagavati. Okay. Any question? Online. Uh, Jamona Priya said, "Dimbai Guru, how can one make his body do some austerities? For example, eat less, eat less, eat less, and more concentrate on service. He found that his time is far too short, and Guru is not able to keep this up. He asked for the Guru's blessing and blessing. At the moment, with his own energy and hard work, it is very difficult. 尤其是睡眠很多，有时会比较懒惰，还处于愚昧形态。A question from Jamuna Priya. A patience is to Guru. How can I make my body to perform some proper austerities? For example, let me eat less and sleep less, so I have more time to be engaged in devotional service. Because I find、uh, I find out that I don't have、um, enough time to perform devotional service. However, Guru is the、uh, perfect example on this aspect. So I am begging for Guru's instructions and blessings. And now, by my own willpower and my own endeavor, I feel it's very hard to do that. Especially, I sleep a lot, and sometimes I am very lazy. I am still situated in the mode of ignorance. <laughs> Well, you said it yourself. Eat less and sleep less. <laughs> If you eat less and sleep less, you will be more austere. <laughs> Keep yourself busy in the service of Krishna. And imagine the guru is always there with a big stick beating you on the head. Yeah, that's that's not samadhi. That's、uh, Prabhupada didn't like that. He said Bhakti Vinoda Kaur is not the gatekeeper. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe his body didn't get put in samadhi because it wasn't 
Actually, he took Babaji, he didn't take Babaji in this case. He left the body as Puri. But I thought he took Babaji Okay, Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna